This is what an artificial womb facility, aka a place where babies are grown outside the human body, could look like in the future. Right now it's just a concept. While the video's creator isn't actually working to build this facility, he says he thinks something like this could become a reality in the next few years and could be widely used within decades. The fake facility depicted in this video called Ectolife comes from the mind of filmmaker, producer, and science communicator Hashim Al-Ghaili, who has a background in molecular biology. He says the conceptual facility is based on the current state of fertility research. According to the concept video, one facility could incubate up to 30,000 lab-grown babies a year. In addition to monitoring a fetus's growth, each pod would supposedly use an artificial umbilical cord to provide nutrients from central bioreactors as well as remove waste. The video depicts ectolife growth pods monitoring babies' vital signs while also keeping track of any genetic abnormalities or physical defects. The concept also mentions an elite package that would let parents-to-be edit their future child's genome. They could choose everything from height to eye color to intelligence level. Parents would be able to monitor their growing fetus through a 360-degree camera that would connect to a VR headset, allowing the adults to see and hear what being in the pod is like, the video explains. It would also feature a speaker to allow parents to play music or talk to their baby so it becomes familiar with their voices before birth. al Ghaili says artificial womb technology could help reduce life-threatening pregnancy complications that birthing people face. It could also help couples dealing with fertility issues or individuals without wombs conceive, he said. For parents who aren't interested in their child gestating in an artificial womb facility, al says Ectolife could also offer couples a battery-powered pod that could be installed at home. A lot would need to happen for something like Ectolife to actually exist, including a change to an international rule that generally limits research on embryos. But some experts agree we're not too far off from making something like Ectolife a reality.